Expensive gaming headset is putting it lightly with the SteelSeries Arctis Pro Wireless, but there's definitely a value proposition to be had if you're thinking about buying a pair of these headphones like I did. Let's get into this video and let me explain why I decided the Arctis Pro Wireless were the best headset for my needs and why I decided to buy them. The SteelSeries Arctis Pro Wireless gaming headset retails for nearly $330 at the time of this video, and that's a really serious price to ask of customers. But it has a bunch of features that met some of the things that I needed from a headset. First, they needed to look like a regular set of headphones because I wanted to use them for other things uh, besides just gaming. Second, they needed to have the ability to connect to multiple sources of audio, wireless wirelessly and simultaneously. And finally, they need to be comfortable to wear on my big ass head for longer gaming sessions and listening to music and just using them overall. The Arctis Pro Wireless has met all three of these needs for me. Before we get too deep into this video, I want to spend some time clearing up the model confusion that may surround the Arctis Pro line of headsets because I was really confused when I was looking into this thing. Steel Series contains three different models in their Pro headset series. There's the Arctis Pro, an Arctis Pro with gaming DAC or DAC, and the Pro Wireless, which we're looking at in this video. Pricing on those are $180, $250, and $330 respectively. The Arctis Pro is the same headset, but it can be purchased with a wired gaming digital to analog conversion converter. Uh, so that's basically the same headset with different connection options. Before we get into any specifications on this headset, let's talk about what you get in the box of this $330 headset. You get the headset itself, a wireless transmitter, an additional battery that can be charged within the wireless transmitter, which is a, a really nice to have. You never run out of power with this thing. You get a USB-A audio cable, an optical audio cable, a power cable, a mobile audio connection cable which can be used to connect to 3.5 millimeter output sources and you can use this headset as a wired one. And you get the SteelSeries proprietary cable that allows you to update firmware and whatnot. Let's talk about some specifications of this headset. The Arctis Pro Wireless has 40 millimeter drivers in each of the earpieces in and over the ear design. The ear pads are dense foam, providing a nice feel around your ear that lets them breathe sufficiently. I've never had a session where my ears were hot or got sweaty or anything like that. Padding is soft enough to provide a good amount of relief and breathable enough to keep them on your ears for longer gaming sessions. It's really a pleasant listening experience when it comes to the physical ear cups on these headphones. The drivers are capable of pushing between 10 to 40,000 hertz on the frequency response range and provide a nice sound stage that gives excellent separation across the lows, mids, and the highs. The bass isn't too heavy, the mids are represented well, and you get a nice meld of the highs with all of that sound. The Arctis Pro Wireless is really a nice sounding headphone in my overall opinion. Sound is subjective, so you may think differently, but I can wholeheartedly say that I like the sound that's coming from these headphones. Talking about fit, the ear cups are held in place with metal hinges with a decently wide headband that fits pretty nicely on a person with a big head. The hinges move 90 degrees and give you the ability to lay them flat on your neck if you need to. If you give them a shake physically, you don't have any of that loose feeling portions nor do they give way to any cracking or creaking when you flex them. They're stiff, but not to a point to where they feel like they're pinching your head. The Arctis Pro Wireless comes in two colors, white and black out of the box. I'm a big fan of the gorgeous two-tone matte black and gunmetal muted design. There's really a lot to say about the design of these headphones. They're a gaming headset that don't look like a gaming headset, which uh, open the doors to different usage uh, scenarios. I feel comfortable when wearing these out in public without worrying about looking like an absolute nerd. I know that may be offensive to some of you, but I want a headset that I can wear 
uh, on the bus or if I'm, you know, on a plane going somewhere or something like that and listening to music in general. And then at night I can put my nerd face on and get into some gaming sessions. In addition to wearing these out and about, the, these headphones feel like they're built to last. Nothing about the build quality has me concerned for the longevity of this headset. They don't feel like they're heavy or like a heavy set of headphones uh, because you can definitely wear these for longer periods of time. With that said though, you will notice the weight of these because they are pretty hefty. Let's move on to the mic. The Arctis Pro Wireless uses a retractable boom microphone design that is somewhat adjustable. When it is fully extended and uh, when it is recessed into the ear cup, you don't really even notice it. I really love this design and it is really cleverly thought out. It is much better than the standard flip up mic headset that you regularly experience or come in contact with when you are considering a gaming headset. The bi-directional noise canceling microphone gives users 100 to 10,000 hertz of frequency response a recording capability which isn't anything to call home about because it does sound a little nasally. Uh, because of its limited range. It doesn't sound bad and people have commented on the quality of sound when I am gaming online or taking a call. You may have noticed the difference in sound during this portion of video. That's because all of this was recorded using the wireless transmitter plugged into my iMac Pro recording into Adobe Audition at a 48 sample rate and a 24 bit depth. So it does sound pretty good. Uh, what do you think about it? it uh, feel free to leave me a comment down below. It sounds pretty dang good for a self-proclaimed gaming headset in my opinion. And another thing that I will take note of at this time is that how easy it was to recognize the input source and it didn't require any additional power outlet or power connections to it. You literally just plug the USB into a, an available USB port on your computer and it is quickly and easily accessible and recognized by your computer system. More on the mic, the mute button is easily accessible and it's a pretty huge button at that. It provides visual indication of status on the mic tip as well. You can see clearly if it's either muted or not. You can also adjust the brightness of the mic mute light to fit your needs on the wireless transmitter. And also one thing to note, if you have good peripheral vision, you can see if it's muted when the microphone is retracted in its ear cup. And that's a good thing to know because you, sometimes you're talking or whatever and nobody hears you and you just kind of glance down and you can see that it's muted. The headset provides nine levels of adjustable side tone on the wireless transmitter and that can be adjusted through there. Which means you can leave the microphone in place, you know, retract it in its ear cup and monitor the room around you. And this is good for if you want to pay attention to someone in your space while still being able to focus on the game that you're playing or the video that you're editing or whatever it is you need to. You can also quickly disable this by pushing the mic mute button if you need to as well to focus in on something uh, really quickly and just kind of pull yourself out of that and pay attention to your task and then you can go right back by just unmuting your microphone. Let's talk about physical input on the Arctis Pro Wireless and your ability to make quick settings adjustments on the fly. The volume wheel is very pronounced and easy to find, so much so that you may inadvertently make adjustments to your settings like volume by taking the headset on and off. This is also a problem for uh, hoodie wearers. Uh, I found that every time I turned my head, my hoodie would get in the way. It always would lower the volume on the headset just because when you turn your head this way, the orientation of the volume wheel lowers the volume of the sound that's going to the headset when you turn your head this way. And there's no way to turn it back. You always have to quickly reach up and turn the volume back up. That is one problem that you should definitely make note of if you're considering these heads, uh, this headset for purchase. If you wear hoodies a lot, the volume wheel does have a really nice tactile feeling to it though and is graduated in volume adjustments. It also acts as a button so you can quickly make adjustments in the menu of the wireless transmitter on the headset. So what makes the Arctis Pro Wireless so unique and expensive? Well, the implementation of the wireless transmitter and the inclusion of Bluetooth 4.1 are big standout features of this headset for me. You can use this headset as a regular headset and pair it with a Bluetooth enabled device. Then you can also use the wireless transmitter simultaneously 
which is a huge benefit and feature set of this headphone that I love. It's awesome to be able to uh, take a call while listening to music or, or editing or while playing games, all of that stuff. It's just really, really awesome to have that sound mixture happen on my headset quickly, seamlessly, and easily. You can take in two signals on the headset and that uh, to me is why I bought these headphones. There's something freeing about being able to move around uh, inputs so effortlessly and consume two sources of audio at the same time. It's definitely worth the premium you pay for these, in my opinion. Every gaming headset manufacturer should include this type of uh, technology in their headphones, even if it brings the price up a little bit or a lot. I mean, this is something that I haven't found on any other gaming headset out there, and I really, really like this idea about the SteelSeries Arctis Pro Wireless, and that's why I ultimately purchased them. Another thing I'd like to highlight before we move on to another component of the Arctis Pro Wireless is the swappable batteries. You get two batteries with the purchase of this headset and each is rated at around 10 hours of listening time. You remove one of the ear cup covers and are able to quickly and easily swap batteries. You may be asking, where do you charge the other battery? Well, I talked about this a little bit earlier in this video. Take the wireless transmitter and on the side of it, and it puts, uh, it takes a battery in there and charges it. It's a pretty large glossy base that allows you to charge the other included battery while you're using the other one. So that's not all the wireless transmitter is good for. You can configure virtually every setting of this headset via the combo knob and the back button on the wireless transmitter. You can change settings like chat mix, enable or disable simultaneous 7.1 surround sound, and modify EQ settings to match your listening needs and preferences. And you can save those as custom profiles so you can quickly access them when you need them. The wireless transmitter's OLED display also shows connection status and the battery level of the headset, in addition to the battery charge uh, progress that's being charged in the wireless transmitter. So the battery inside the wireless transmitter also has a OLED indication on the level of power that's available on that battery. On the back of the transmitter, you'll find auto sensing pass through for 3.5 millimeter and for optical, which means you can wire in a surround sound system or desktop speakers if you need to or want to. To start to closing this video out, the ultimate question is, are these good sounding headphones and are they good enough for the games that I play? Well, that's where I feel comfortable enough in saying yes to both of those questions. The 40 millimeter drivers in these headphones are good enough to push any custom EQ configuration you may set up for your game specific needs. The ability to customize the EQ settings and save that preset is great for sound that meets your needs. Sound is absolutely subjective and the Arctis Pro Wireless with wireless transmitters meets those customizations requirements from you. Personally, these headphones sound great out of the box. The only thing I did was disable uh, a setting called volume limiter on the wireless transmitter because that comes on by default and that made the headset really come to life. If you turn it off, it sounds great. If it's on, sound is really suppressed and it's quiet. And you definitely wanna disable that as quickly as possible. Ultimately, these headphones are fantastic, but honestly, I think they're better priced at around $280. However, I found the feature set worth the $330 asking price from SteelSeries. They checked all of the boxes for my required needs of a headset and the price wasn't a big issue when I purchased these. They fit great on my big head and are comfortable, have great sound overall, have a removable battery and are able to bring multiple sources of audio in to the headset when I want or I need it. Ultimately, if price isn't an issue, I highly recommend these to you. But if price is a deal breaker, then these may not be the headphones for you and your gaming setup. If you're interested in current pricing and availability, I'll leave that link in the description of this video. I've seen these headphones go for around $270 sometimes. And at that price, these are an absolute must buy right now. I'd get those at that price quickly as possible. I'd probably buy a second set. 
Full disclosure on that, uh, those are my affiliate links in the description. So shopping through those help support content creation on this channel by giving me a bit of commission on your purchases without costing you anything in addition. Um, I have nothing else to disclose as I purchased these headphones with my own hard-earned cash. Well, that about does it for me in this one. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do. Thank you for taking the time to watch. I am Tomas and I will catch you in the next one.